Hello folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thanks for taking the time to check out today's video. Today's video, as you can see, is on X-Lights. And uh, you'll also notice that uh, I've got a camera now, so look out. You're going to have to look at me every once in a while. So today's video is on X-Lights. And what I want to do is go to the xlights.org download page by typing xlights.org and scroll down and click the donate button and make sure that you are uh, donating something to help support the software that we are absolutely uh, uh, in love with. It does a fantastic job. There's so many things that it does. And uh, the people that it really uh, affects are not just us, the users, but also the people who get to come and visit our displays and uh, really get to make some great memories. So with that being said, what I want to talk about today is X-Lights. And uh, I also have something else I want to share with you. Um, and that is this. Uh, this is a uh, very poor image of a um, of a computer <laughs> that I have just recently built. Um, I did a live broadcast on my Facebook feed, and uh, these are some of the items that are in it. But uh, I, I went ahead, and this is the first computer that I have physically ever built completely before from start to finish. And uh, basically, I built this computer mostly for the hobby, and it's not so much the lighting hobby, but I will use it for sequencing some, uh, but mostly it is definitely for the video rendering that I uh, happen to be doing a whole lot of. Um, so I just thought this was a great time to share with you that uh, things are moving right along with uh, uh, within the Leechburg Light Studio. This is a brand new computer build, and I'm excited to have uh, Shannon Wood's background uh, X Lights 4 logo on my screen as my new backdrop. So uh, I'm still working on getting it set up. I have to activate my Windows 10 and so forth. But I do want to go through a couple things on the X Lights download. Now because this is a brand new computer, there are very few programs on it. And I, I really didn't want to uh, uh, not have X Lights on here. And I was about to go download X Lights yesterday, which was uh, the 29th of October 2017. Uh, but as soon as I got to work, I looked at my cell phone and it, Sean Meehan had uploaded the most recent version, which is dot .30. And in the dot .30 release, they're calling this a production release, which means this is uh, one of the releases that will be uh, maintained throughout from now until the, the holiday season. Uh, there may be another production release, but typically we're probably not going to see too many uh, major major changes between now and uh, the beginning of next year. So basically we have a production release that's going to be something that you should feel pretty safe, pretty confident that no new um, major changes are going to be made and that you should feel confident and comfortable running your entire show off of. So with that being said, um, I wanted to go ahead and show you from a standpoint of this computer being the first time it's ever had X lights loaded on it the things that you might have to do in order to get it up and running. Now, I, this might be a basic video for many of you, and many of you can just pass by this video, and that's fine. I understand that. But this is really for the very, very new people who I don't know what to do. I don't know which X Lights I should download. Well, what we see here on the download page is actually two versions of X Lights. If you go to the most recent beta and the most recent production, they happen to be identical. Usually the production is the one that's... Uh, not so much that there isn't any bugs in it, but that it's stable and uh, that there are so many bug fixes and less enhancements added to it that would cause a bug. The, uh, the idea behind having a production would definitely be that you can feel confident that you don't have to worry about things being changed and you can use that throughout for, for your actual daily use. Um, so that, that would be the production. The beta, those are where whenever you are downloading the software and you want to try all the greatest and latest features that x -Lights is providing, that, that Keith and Gil and Sean and, and uh, uh, Dan and all of the other developers are adding into it to try to enhance it and make it better. And then we create other little bugs that might pop up like we find little things. Uh, there's always going to be little things wrong in x -Lights. There, That's just the, the nature of open source software that's... Uh, that's shared and it's free. Uh, but the important thing is, is that that you have the choice to go with a production release or the beta release. Now the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit, I'm not going to ever claim to be the expert at this, but um, I can definitely tell you my computer is a 64-bit uh, uh, based processor and therefore I'm running Windows 64-bit and with that being said, I don't have to worry about which one I'm going to use. I know that 64-bit is going to run on my computer. If your computer is an older computer and you're just, let's say, um, 
uh, sequencing a really relatively small show and you're doing, uh, you know, maybe your house outline, a couple dancing trees in the front, and a few other little things, 32-bit uh, is going to work fine for you, especially if you're using an older computer. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm not a computer expert, but I can tell you that 32-bit will, will get the job done. 64-bit is definitely somebody who's somebody that's going to use this as having a giant show, uh, something they're going to run thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of pixels, tens of thousands of pixels off of. And uh, the, the ability for the processor and the computer to operate and process uh, information faster, better, stronger, and so forth. Uh, is there for the 64-bit version. So if you want a better technical exp uh, explanation of 64 versus 32-bit, Google and, and uh, YouTube are filled with them. But just know for your uses that 32-bit, if you're just getting started, is going to get you by. If you are a more power user, you have a beefier computer like I do, go ahead, just download the 64-bit. Um, but if you're just coming in from, from, let's say you're coming in from Lightarama, you, you don't really have to worry about too much of the uh, the size of that folder or that file, um, uh, you can you can bring it into X Lights and X Lights will run it on 32 bit if it's an LOR. Even I mean if you're running uh, a lot of pixels and so forth, maybe you need the 64 bit. So it's up to you. The other things that you're going to see here are the Queen Mary Vamp plugins from Audacity, and then you're also going to see this C++ uh, redistribution. Uh, this is necessary in some cases if your computer doesn't have this, and I know mine doesn't have this, where people have watched my previous videos and were unable to get the Queen Mary Vamp plugins to work correctly. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I've already, I've already taken the time to download these. If I go to my downloads page, you're going to see uh, the Queen Mary Vamp plugin you're going to see X Lights version 30, which is the new version, and then we have the VC redistribution for 64. Um, those are the three files that we're going to work with today. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of uh, my browser, and we'll go ahead and the first thing we're going to do is install X Lights. Um, so this is the first time, and Windows usually will pop this up because uh, X Lights is not a, uh, a registered uh, Windows. Uh, uh, program so they probably they're thinking oh your PC's at risk I'm gonna click more info here and it's saying this is the application it's an unknown publisher which is why Windows flags it uh, and I'm gonna click uh, don't run or run anyway which one I'm gonna click run anyway so you can go ahead and uh, install the app click yes here and the download pro or the uh, install process it's gonna create the actual directory for me um, and I, like I said, this is a brand new install. I'm just going with all of the defaults and I'm going to go ahead and create a shortcut on the desktop and install. So my computer will just munch right through. This is pretty quick, uh, pretty quick, quick build. And then you get this option to view the readme and launch the application. So we're just going to head and finish. And this is the readme file. And it looks like we have a splash screen here. And now it's going to prompt me for a show directory because I've never used this before. I know that I have uh, my Dropbox right here, and I'm going to go to Nutcracker. That's my standard X Lights directory. I'm going to select it, and we do have a new splash screen. That is beautiful. And here we go. We have our uh, production version of Dot Thirty, and we have all of my uh, X Lights, if you will, my X Lights layout. So I haven't obviously configured this to anything yet. We can maybe look at it and make it a little bigger. Looks like uh, looks like everything uh, pulled in just fine from my uh, from my other computer. So uh, right off of Dropbox, uh, I love Dropbox for that. So these are all the display uh, the all of the fixes that we run into uh, from from the time that X Lights was released. You can read through this on your own. And uh, the other thing, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, install the Queen Mary Vamp plugin, and we're just going to double click click the Vamp, um, and we'll go ahead and say yes. We'll click next. We'll click next and install, and this is completed. So now I don't know if I have any music loaded into Dropbox yet because I'm I just downloaded Dropbox and I paused the syncing to do this video. But if I were to um, quickly, let's just go back to X Lights because I want to make sure that you know uh, the download page. Um, I want to make sure that 
you saw exactly where you click on X lights, you go to download. And right here, this is the Queen Mary Vamp 64 bit, 32 bit, or the most recent beta or production. And then again, this Visual C++, so that you know where I got those files from. I didn't click download. I didn't need to because I've already done the download work. We're not installing Visual Plus Plus just yet because I want to uh, go in and create a brand new sequence. So we'll just create a musical sequence. We're going to um, go into the Nutcracker directory and uh, we'll open a sequence. We'll click that and we'll do a quick start. So now we have brand new sequence. There's no timing marks, nothing whatsoever. Let's go over here to the settings box and let's hit timings and we'll add a new timing. See how this is a small box right here. That means that Queen Mary Vamp plugin is not activated at this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel. We're going to click done. We're going to close out of X lights and we're going to discard all the changes. None of this matters. We're going to go back in and from this download, we're going to in install this visual C++ um, version and we're going to, that's this here, VC redistribute dot dot x64. I'm going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to agree to Microsoft's terms. Install. Yes. So there's three programs that we need to install. I, I think this usually takes a little bit longer, but uh, we'll figure it out here as we go. I will say that um, I'm, I'm uh, ridiculously thrilled to see a lot of the uh, new release uh, uh, updates in the most recent x -Lights. There are a lot of great things that have happened uh, specifically in the past two to three months. A lot of small enhancements that are really doing a lot of great things that bring a lot of functionality into x -Lights. It says setup is now successful and we'll go ahead and close. Let's go ahead now and uh, we can close out of all of this. And we have X lights on the on the screen here, and we have X schedule. When you install X lights, it automatically installs X schedule. I'm going to go ahead and open X lights. There's our our clear box, our splash screen, if you will. It didn't come up there fast enough, I guess. And we'll go ahead and create new musical sequence. Select the song, open. 20 frames per second, and we're going to go to timings in this section here now and we'll click new. When we click new, notice the box is so much bigger here. Now we have all of our drop downs here. See before the box was half this size and it only showed like the 50 millisecond and I should have clicked on the down arrow but I didn't. Um, but if we want to get bars, beats, note onset, note onset is probably one of the most helpful uh, beat detectors there is. Or not beat detectors but uh, detectors or uh, grids that you can download. And uh, we can click done now we have an absolute brand new note onset timing track. We've installed Audacity Vampire plugins. And this is a absolute clean install from start to finish of the x -Lite software version.30 for 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure you click the like button down below. If you didn't like the video, click that button. Make sure you get subscribed because I really appreciate all of the support that I've gotten from all of you folks over the past, oh my goodness, uh, five years now. And uh, 10 years in the hobby, this is my 10th year running the show. So thanks for everything, folks. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.